Why? Because it's the smart thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Question number 12, Dr Shane Ritty. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Health, does he stand by all his decisions and actions regarding the National Oracle Solution in OS programme? The Honourable Dr David Clark. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, in their context. Supplementary. Why did the Ministry proceed with commissioning Deloitte as independent reviewers when, OIO, when OIA documents show the first words of Deloitte's own conflict of interest declaration state, quote, Deloitte has been involved in the National Oracle Solution, unquote, meaning they will be reviewing their own work? Uh, Mr Speaker, I can't speak for why the Ministry made that decision. Um, the procurement process uh, originally was done under the government procurement rules that that government set up. Um, and the conflicts uh, perceived or real um, were declared in that piece of work, as the member knows. The member's got the OIA release now. Um, the Ministry did, though, subsequently commission Audit New Zealand to undertake an assurance process on the process followed by the Ministry in its engagement of a consultant to review the National Oracle Solution Programme. Why did the Ministry proceed with commissioning Deloitte as independent reviewers when OIA documents now show Deloitte and Deloitte-related entities provided 28 consultation services to the project from 2011 to 2017? Uh, Mr Speaker, the project didn't exist in 2011. Supplementary. When was the Minister made aware that Deloitte or Deloitte-related entities have been, quote, materially involved in the majority of their services provided to the project since 2013, and what steps did he take? Mr Speaker, I haven't been advised of that. Um, yeah. Supplementary. Why did the Minister deny reviewer Thorsten Engel's 2011 conflict of interest in oral question number nine yesterday, when it is now clear that Deloitte were providing significant services to the project in 2011? Uh, the project didn't exist in 2011. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the, uh, Shane Ritty, Dr oh, Shane Ritty. I seek leave to table Deloitte's conflict of interest declaration for the independent NOS review and Deloitte's additional conflict of information statement for the independent review. Is there any objection to that? There appears to be none. Can point of order. A point of order. Dr Shane Ritty. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table an April 4, 2017 email from Deloitte confirming that they have been materially involved in the project. It comes to me as an OAA. Is there any objection to that document being tabled? Sorry? There is an objection. <laughs> a, a point of order. Dr David Clark. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table all of the OAA correspondence uh, received by Mr Ritty to provide the full context for all of those things and to provide a clear uh, view of the history of this issue. There's one from the 23rd of May no, 2018 no, just, no, and one from the 21st of May 2018. Is there any objection to those documents being tabled? There appears to be none. Right. Uh, further supplementary? No. Right. OK. Um, that concludes oral questions. Uh, I call on government order. Oh, sorry, urgent debate. Sorry, I. Right, I, I, I apologise. Uh, I have received a letter from the Honourable Paula Bennett.